Mm. Last night was the first night in a long time I actually used a blanket. Can you see this clock? Or is Vecna coming to get me? Ooh. Good morning, my feet don't hurt. La Marina. Now we're gonna bop on down to Electric Avenue. <laughs> uh, they were doing it early the next morning. How about you? Um, just cruising on by. You're... This is the breakfast of Camino Champions right here. <laughs> Karen, heading up the hill. Knit flags. Understand that sign. Are they telling us who to the second bar in town? Garda Seville on the prowl. Their advertising is working. Now I want to go to second bar. Oh, second bar is the popular spot. It's not yet 11 o'clock, but it's beer time for me. So this is a shout out to my mom. Mom, cheers. Thanks for the beer. Parents, hummus, peace. <laughs> all right, right, right. Guys, see you later. Enjoy, enjoy your meal. I'll see you in Sagu. All right, bye. bye. See you later. See, see you. you. <laughs> <laughs> bye. We are on the twisting machine. I hurt myself stretching. I'm hoping this will solve it. I see some old honeycomb, no bees inside. Side the highway. Punta de Castilla y Leon. So much wheat. This is, this is where you want to sit if you want a burnt butt. Karen says it isn't hot. I don't believe her. Center of the Camino. <laughs> you know, right here. Yeah, this, this one. Oh, okay. This is what we missed that they're taking down the crowds for. That could have been me. Look at all the different words for massage here. Oh, the, yeah, I used to have one of those. So we went into the office and now we have our official half point certificate. And we're also filmed for Spanish TV, so I may or may not be on Spanish TV at some point. But hey, certificate, 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 halfway. My second time staying, or third time, at this awesome monastery albergue. This two-person room costs 20 euros, has its own bathroom, and I'm soaking my feet in the cool water. Oh my god. What? What? Um, doing what? Doing this. <laughs> the church is closed, so we cannot visit the um, Virgin of the Pilgrims. Time to work out. I pump work. it up. Work it. <laughs> Cycling. Yes. 
alcohol. Hearing, baby's feeling uh, cool. Let's wrap her up. All wrapped. This is a small potato plate. Good thing we're sharing it because uh, okay, this is the biggest hamburger I've ever had in my entire life. Look at this. How do you even eat it? It doesn't even... everybody. So this albergue is run by a religious order and they do offer a few spiritual services for pilgrims. And uh, so uh, one of them is an informal coffee chat. It's non-denominational. It's just a guided discussion talking about thoughts and feelings and experiences pilgrims have had along the way. I find it very helpful and uh, something I love to go to because I really enjoy hearing uh, people's stories and experiences that they're having. A uh, mass in the chapel. I did not attend the mass, but I did go at the end for the pilgrim blessing, the benediction. That was, um, it's very short, it's about 10 minutes or so, but it's a super touching, um, really heartfelt ceremony. Um, it involved um, each of us giving a prayer or a thought or saying out loud a wish um, to a candle that was passed around a circle. These are the types of ceremonies and experiences I feel that medieval pilgrims would have had back in the day. Another one buds the dust. Another one buds the dust. 